What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Sit Down Saturday. Today, we're going to be comparing the New Age and Magic Square Megatrons. We're going to talk a little bit about it before we start, but first, we got to do a lot of house cleaning because I was basically gone last week because I did the last two together. I'm going to try to get through it as quickly as possible. I'm going to try to move through it as quickly as possible and get right into the competition, but in order to do so, we got to start with accessories, or in this case, we got to just move through it. So, let's just get started. I'm going to start with the MMC Blast Off because never have I seen people more confused about some stuff in a while. Let me explain it to you as best I can. Proportions matter to me because the robots are based off of human forms. They're not based off of gorilla forms. They're not based off of Gumby, the little green claymation fella. They're based off of human forms. So the human forms need to match. Now, I do have some give and take there. I can take the heroic look. I can take the more straight 1-1 one -one look. I'm flexible in that regard. But what I can't take is when the head is significantly smaller than the entire length of the torso. The entire length of the torso is ridiculously long. The thighs are ridiculously short and then the lower calves are ridiculously long then yes I'm gonna I'm gonna ping you for it that doesn't mean that I always want the proportions to be the same if I was reviewing He-Man's Beast Man then I would like the proportions to be a little different or I'd be more flexible but this isn't Beast Man this is Blast Off and his proportions in the cartoon model his proportions in most of the figures are not this there was also a number of people that made the comment it's the best one available so what planet are we on that we're that we, see that's my problem we can't take that's that's not the way to look at this thing if my kids come downstairs and they bring down three pairs of sweatpants to put on for school and one has three holes one has two holes and one has one big hole they're not wearing any of those sweatpants to school we're gonna find something else best enough is not good enough there's a lot of confirmation bias that always comes into this stuff. This is one where I actually have a dog in the fight because I bought the thing. A lot of times I feel like, man, like I feel bad because I, I trash something or praise something that I didn't commit financially to. This one I did. I bought this. I wanted this. It didn't meet my expectations. As an MMC fan, as a Combaticon fan, and as a fan of some of the figures that they've produced so far. Mainly, three out of four. This one's just a weaker one. And I think if you had the set that you would agree that this is one of the weaker ones. Swindle and Vortex being two of the stronger. Moving on. The Flames Toys 4 Dummies. The information regarding what was a model kit and then they changed it into something else came out long after we recorded that episode. That episode came out really late in the month. If you check the date on it, I had it recorded far earlier. It was a mess of a month to try to get dummies together. I did the best I could to get one episode. Most of it still rings true. Look, I don't have any interest in the model kits. They're not for me. I don't care for them. I have these two because they're painted by a dear friend of mine and they're painted better than almost everything in my collection. The only one, I have no interest in the model kits. The only one I have interest in are the higher, more expensive expensive ones, but for me to spend that much money on a figure, it needs to really nail the character I'm looking for. I'm not in to complete that line. I don't think they are either. And I say that as a fan of their work. There's a number of people that were like, it's a mechanized Batman, and like, dude, if, if that works for you, that's cool. It does not work for me. I mean, I'm not it's Jason Todd, right? I, I knew who it was. Red Hood. Yeah, I'm just not into that. I don't need ice cream on my pizza. I like my Batman stuff to look like Batman stuff, and my mech stuff to look like mech stuff, and I don't need the two to cross paths, personally. Especially not at that price. And I, I would never want them to look G1. As simple as as the G1 designs are, I just I I can't spend the the money that Takara asks for those simple designs. It just doesn't feel satisfying. To me. I don't think it's the right call for them. The Mirages, there were a few people in the comments that said, what if the MMC had the more blue color? It wouldn't have changed anything. The, the TE, the, that, that only, so what it, what it would adjust, right, is the one category, likeness, right? But that color is not going to make it look more tuned than the Transform Element. The Transform Element just looks more tuned. It's sculpted more tuned. It's decoed more tuned. This one color palette change for the MMC wouldn't affect anything. It, it, it wouldn't even win that category. You've got to be able to see that, right? And I say that liking the MMC more than the Transform Element. But it's still, it, it can't win that category. It would be like taking, once again, this IDW Prime and painting it to look just like G1 Prime. It still doesn't look like G1 Prime. It looks like IDW Prime wearing G1 Prime's pants. It doesn't change anything. Now you've matched the color palette, but you can't match the sculpt for that particular likeness. Now I think it's more of a tie in likeness ultimately because the Studio Ox is trying to be Studio Ox and does a pretty good job and the G1 is trying to be a G1. One. So that's where I lie with, but that was a, that was a, that was a weird comment to kind of see repetitively. Then there was the Beachcomber versus Beachcomber. A lot of people made a point concerning the alt mode that the XTB looks like a more real life alt mode and the uh, the other one doesn't. And I, dude, I would agree. I'm with you 100% on that. And if the XTB would have had the back end of the alt mode cleaned up, I would have given it to XTB in a minute. But I'll take a finished looking alt mode that isn't quite on the money to an unfinished thing that's halfway on the money. 
money. Does that make sense? But I, I agree. I, I know exactly where you're coming from and I get it. I just can't forgive that unfinishedness. Uh, and then lastly, the Doomsday. A lot of people saying that they would like it upgraded to MP size. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I would be down to try it. I don't hate the sculpt at all um, as we're going to get into here. They just, they're, they're materials, man. Like they really need to get a grip on that. But I, I, I'm not mad at that idea. I just wonder how it would translate. You know, I wonder, I know they did it with the Prime, but I wonder if they down, if downsizing it is different than upsizing. I don't know how all that works, but it would be curious to see if they do move forward with that. I could be tempted by it, but I'm not sure I could swap out MP36 for it just because of things like paint, things that I, I take into like in, are high priority for me. But I hear you. But we'll to wait and see. Real quick, merch of the week, we got plush blankets. I offer three different style of blankets. We've covered the woven. We're going to cover the plush now. Uh, I have numerous designs if you're interested in them. They are the least expensive blanket that I carry, unlike the woven, which is the most expensive blanket that I carry. Once again, all my work, once again, portion of the proceeds go to a, a family that lost their father slash husband to cancer this year. Colon cancer at that. Rest in peace to Chadwick T'Challa while we're on the subject. Lastly, before we get into this Royal Rumble, a lot of people are saying that I should review, I should compare the New Age with the Upgrade Kit. Not in your life would I do that. If Magic Square creates an Upgrade Kit, then I would compare both. It's not fair. It's not fair to compare the base release of something to the base release of something with an added Upgrade Kit. That we're not doing that. Now, if Magic Square creates an Upgrade Kit, I would be more than willing to compare both sets with Upgrade Kits. We're comparing the two figures released. And I don't even think that the part that the Upgrade Kit fixes plays that big of a part in the outcome of this. To be fair. No spoilers, but there's nuance to both of those things. And with that, I think we can get started. Let's get ready to rumble. Smith and Wesson, and then we do it like, let's get it on. As far as accessories go, they both come with a ton. They both come with more than you'll ever use. They both come with more that you'll keep in a bin somewhere than you'll actually keep on display anywhere. However, if we're playing the quality game, we really have to give it to Magic Square. New Age does come with the blast effects, which is kind of unique to them. Magic Square comes with the Megatron pistol it comes with the crimson it comes with the helmet it just comes with so much the new age and magic square both come with the fusion cannon both come with vector sigma both come with the prime killer pistol both come with all the accessories for the gun mode etc etc of course but magic square just has to take it and they have to take gimmicks as well because they have the battle damage option so that's a win-win for them right out of the gate when it comes to build and materials the new age takes it it's just a better build less flimsy less finicky more solid solid, more well-constructed toy. And that's partly due to the tolerances, it's partly due to the materials. Magic Square's materials are just not top shelf. This is not new, it's not mind-blowing, it's something that we all are aware of if we've ever handled a Magic Square. So they take it there. Hardware they both tie because they both use swivels and ball pegs, none of them use any ratchets or anything like that. We rarely see that sort of stuff with Legends. From the front, I gotta say, at first glance, there's just things about the Magic Square I feel like work better. He seems more intimidating and I, I don't think it has to do it's funny because when I was thinking about how this was going to go when I was predicting it I was like it's probably going to be because of this but he's got a little bit of that too it's not as bad but he's got a little bit of it what really does it for me is the chest this chest seems so small proportionately now to him, whereas with him it seems like, yeah, like I'm, I'm here to cause a problem. So I think he takes it. Moving on to the head. So the Magic Square has the face painted as, as well as the red eyes and the black line work. The New Age has that as well, but the New Age has also painted the helmet. I also think the sculpt of the face is better on the New Age. The eyes and proportions of the face regarding the Magic Square don't seem quite right. The eyes are a bit more at an angle and they seem a little closer to the bridge of the nose. Looking at it from the side, I think it's negligible. They both have the split in the helmet. I would say that New Age looks like a better fit, but they've already got the category beat anyway, so there's no need to even really mention it. Moving on to the chest, like I gotta say it again, man, the larger chest of the Magic Square just sticks out. It shows up and it kind of puts the New Age to shame. They both have the blue, red, and gold paint on the torso, but the Magic Square does not have the paint on the chest that the New Age does. But they have the sculpt work of the ribs and all of that so they're gonna tie out due to paint versus sculpt and looking at them from the side I think it's a tie they're both kind of a complete mess you know we this is the kind of stuff that we forgive in this scale right looking at the arms they're both very similar but I think that the magic square is ultimately cleaner and it has the red on the elbow whereas
as the new age breaks up the red with the elbow with the gray piece from the forearm for a less clean less cohesive look sculpted detail wise they're actually the same however once again the new age has some paint but magic square has the red paint that's going to give magic square the edge looking at it from the side both are kind of a mess nothing really to delineate one from the other in regard to something being clearly better moving on to the pelvis and upper legs and this is where new age takes a beating i think even though they both kind of protrude past the pelvis skirts i do think that the magic square ultimately is sculpted and looks presents better the new age does have the black metallic paint sculpt work it's about equal the new age does have a bit more but you also see all those visible joints in the new age upper thighs so i feel like it's a tie here paint to new age sculpt to magic square from the side it's the same thing so it's ultimately going to lead to new age taking the paint magic square taking the sculpt now this happens to be i think new age's strongest moment aside from their head so to speak and that's the bottom of their legs the silver is magnificent i like the slender sculpt however there's nothing wrong with the bulky sculpt regarding the magic square it just lacks the paint from the side same exact situation both of them kind of get this dead to rights and both have tons of painted detail but the new age has more go figure and there they are from the back and guess what the magic square takes it it's just a cleaner more cohesive looking piece the new age makes a lot of sacrifices to pull off as much as it can in robot mode as a result most of those robot mode aesthetics only really appear from a front and quarter view whereas the magic square kind of looks solid 360. so to wrap up sculpt and paint new age takes the clear win in both categories for the head as well as the lower legs magic square takes it for both categories for the arms and the overall front and back appearance but they tie at the torso hips and thighs ultimately i'm going to be giving new age the point for paint and magic square the point for sculpt let's move through articulation the magic square is a peg into the head with a hinge at the neck that'll get you up down a little bit a swivel no confused dog look the new age is a straight ball peg which gets you up to about the same down to about the same swivel and slight confused dog look magic square has a waist swivel and an ab crunch new age has a waist swivel and a, sl and a lim more limited ab crunch magic square has a ball peg at the base of the shoulder that gets you up slightly less than 90 degrees and 360 around new age has a universal that'll get you slightly less than 90 degrees and 360 around but it's on a swivel or a hinge inside of the chest which gets you the slightest bit of butterfly bicep swivel bicep swivel double jointed elbow for the full run single jointed elbow for 90 degrees wrist swivel wrist swivel t-jointed ball joints that get you slightly less than the van dam but pretty much get you the full monty ball pegs connected to a hinge that pretty much act like a universal that do get you the full van dam and break the thigh at the front to get a kick up thigh swivel thigh swivel single hinge knee that gets you a little bit more than 90 degrees. Single hinged knee that gets you a little bit more than 90 degrees. Slight ankle tilt up, ankle tilt down, toe hinge up with a limited rocker. No ankle tilt up, no ankle tilt down with a rocker. So for articulation, New Age takes it at the head and shoulders. The shoulders because of the butterfly, the head because of the tilt, as well as the knees because it does have a slightly larger range of motion. However, Magic Square takes the feet as well as the torso for the more or greater range of motion regarding the ab crunch, plus of course the double jointed elbow. They tie at the bicep, they tie at the wrist, they tie at the hands, they tie at the thighs. The hips is where it gets sketchy. I'm ultimately giving it to Magic Magic Square. I'll tell you why. New Age has a slightly larger range out to the side, but no range back. Magic Square has a greater range back than the New Age has out to the side in terms of larger range of motion in comparison to its competitor. So the Magic Square hips are technically more versatile. So when it comes to articulation, Magic Square takes it for three. So I misspoke with the Magic Square review and said that he was maybe a little too short. I think 
think it's because of my perspective. Looking at them, you can see that on the DX9 chart, which is the scale chart that New Age uses, the purple line should run through the top of Megatron's head, but it's slightly below. So the DX9 Megatron is slightly too big, whereas the Magic Square is pretty much perfect dead to rights on the money with the purple line, which is where he belongs. Now, in regard to the transformation, I got to give it to New Age, but I'm not sure if it's more closely related to two things. And one we'll talk about here in a bit, but the other we're going to talk about immediately, and that is the materials. Neither one of the transformations are terrible, but the new age just comes across as smooth and elegant and smart and clever and unique and fun. The only struggle that you'll have is possibly getting that last arm into gun mode, but even that works fairly smoothly. But part of that comes down to the stability and durability of the materials. Whereas the magic square, even the part that works a bit better, which is the upper body, seems clunky and clumsy and awful and silly and frustrating frustrating and obnoxious, but I'm not sure if that's because the engineering isn't there, but just because the materials are more flimsy. And that brings us to the second element. One thing that must be considered in tackling this is perhaps the transformation is better for the new age because the gun mode doesn't look as seamless, whereas the magic square gun mode pretty much looks spot on picture perfect. And it comes down to the grip of the gun, right? The handle of the gun. I'm not a gun guy. I don't know what it's called, but that part where your hand goes where it plugs into your palm if you're a masterpiece, <laughs> that part. Both of them kind of get the rest of it right. But because Magic Square kind of nails the whole thing, Magic Square is going to definitely get the point for the alt mode. You care which one of these is better? I do not. Which one looks better? This one. And which one feels better? This one. All right, Jana, do you care which one of these is better? No. Which one looks better? I think this one. Okay. Which one feels better? I think this one, but they feel pretty similar. Okay. Thank you. All right, Selena, do you care which one of these is better? No. Which one looks better to you? That one. And which one feels better? Uh, that one. Okay, thank you. Which one do you think looks better? This one. All right, you want to touch them? Mm -hmm. I like your, uh, that, I mean, robots. Oh, yeah? Kids. <laughs> which one do you think feels better? This one. Okay. Now, usually for the likeness category, I never do like an audio video segment because usually it's pretty obvious and there's no need to really take time with it. This one's a little different. So I think that a lot of people would consider the Magic Square to have more of a likeness, but I would disagree. The new age, I think, is closer to the mark. The legs are skinnier, as is Megatron and G1, which is what I think everybody's going for here. The chest isn't as broad, and they both kind of get the head and arms right, whereas the Magic Square has the wider legs, the wider wider chest, which is much more reminiscent, in my opinion, of the Dreamwave model, which is the model I prefer. I think he looks cooler here. Like, I think the Magic Square is a better looking Megatron, but I don't think it can technically win for likeness, giving New Age a point in the likeness category, which I think might be surprising to some. It was to me, but I really had to look at these images. Which brings us to our final score. And interestingly enough, they only tie in one place, which is the hardware, because neither of them use it, which I don't know if we've ever had before where like they just tie in one spot. So New Age takes the build and materials because it's just a better built, better made thing using better materials. They'll probably always win that. They also take the paint because they actually apply finishes to certain parts as opposed to accents, which is what Magic Square relies on. It takes the transformation, which may harken back to the build and materials, and it takes the accuracy, which we just explained. Magic Square takes the accessories and gimmicks, if only by an edge. They also take the articulation by one point. They take the skull by a few points. They edged them out in scale. They take the alt mode. They won the presence and it's $10 cheaper, which brings us to a total score of eight, five magic square, which I think ties them out on the channel now. Cause I think new age beat them at the seekers. Now they beat them at Megatron. So they're one in one ultimately at the end of the day, but for Megatron magic square takes it. So I'm going to be honest with you, that was much more of a washout than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be a lot closer going into it. I think it's fair. I think it's a fair assessment. And I think that once again, it's one of those things where you have to prioritize what's important in your mind. I think you also have to take into account that one point can be something just edging something out slightly. For instance, the articulation category. That's a win to magic square, but just by a smidgen. And you have to weigh what's more important to you. I'll be honest with you, between the two, I prefer the new age. If I was going to buy one or go in on one line, it would be the 
the new age, I can't handle the materials of Magic Square at that scale. But luckily I'm not in on either, so I can stay pretty objective, pretty straight down the center. I was sorry to see new age take the L that they took here, because I like them as a company. But then the rules. I'll be back next week. I don't think it'll be a versus next week. I'm getting tired of versus, so that'll be a nice break just to sit down and chat and kind of catch up on some stuff. I have a dangerous conversation that I'm thinking about having, but I'm not sure if we're ready for it yet. We'll have to wait and see. But it's it's not an easy, it's not gonna be an easy one for many people to swallow. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get into that next week or not. It'll probably depend on where my self-esteem is. We'll see. That being said, hope you guys are staying safe. Hope you guys are staying sane. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care.